Hey there guys, this is Cole. Welcome back to another video. Uh, doing something a little different today. Um, I have done this type of video before, but it's been like two years, so I'm going to do another one. Um, for those of you guys who saw two years ago on my YouTube channel, I did a video called Original vs. Remake The Wolfman 1941 vs. 2010, where... I compared the original movie from 1941 to the 2010 remake with Anthony Hopkins, and that one was an obvious choice because the original Wolfman is a good movie from the 1940s, but the 2010 remake sucked. And we are getting another Wolfman remake next year, so I don't know. We'll see how that one turns out, but decided I'm going to do something a little different. Um... Today's original versus remake I'm going to be doing is of a sci-fi movie. And that, of course, as you could tell by the title of the video, it, as you could tell by the title of the video is original versus remake War of the Worlds 1953 versus the 2005 remake with uh, Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning directed by Steven Spielberg. And this is a uh, and now. When it came to the Wolfman video, that, like I said, that one was obvious because the original Wolfman is a good movie from the 1940s and the 2010 remake sucked. This one's a little different because the difference, uh, because the difference is with this one is that there is, uh, of these two movies, there is not a bat, like, of these two movies, the 1953 War of the Worlds movie and the 2005 remake, there's not a bad movie between these two. And when it comes uh, now, now granted, uh, it's now granted, even though, granted, even though I do think that both of these, they, uh, at the end of the day, both of these, they are good movies. Uh, although I, between, uh, but overall, I do prefer, I do prefer the book to both of the movies by H.G. Wells, uh, the book from 1898. I mean, this is a classic book, but... I still, at the end of the day, I still do really like both movie adaptations of War of the Worlds, the 1953 movie and the 2005 one, which we are going to be comparing them throughout the course of this video. Now, so, yeah, so, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really need to explain War of the Worlds because I'm pretty sure that everybody, everybody, even if they haven't read the book, they at least... They at least know the general concept of the story, either because they've just heard of it or they've likely seen the 2005 remake with Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning or maybe even the original movie. But basically, it, it, basically, it's an alien invasion movie. It's a classic tale of that. But uh, without further ado, let's get into uh, this original versus remake debate now. Uh, the the way okay so the way I decided to judge this criteria, I'm judging okay I'm judging this based on like five factors and the five factors that I'm gonna be judging are the special effects, the cast, the pacing, the soundtrack, the story, and uh yeah uh the way I'm gonna be judging this criteria is the special effects, the cast, the pacing the soundtrack, the story, and cinematography, and then we're going to add up the points at the end. So that is how I'm going to be judging this criteria. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first criteria is special effects. Now, when it comes to special effects, uh, uh, which movie am I going to give the point? The original War of the Worlds from 1953 or the 2005 one with Tom Cruise? For this one, okay. For this one, I'm uh, for this one, I'm gonna give a point. To, I am gonna give a point to the original movie from 1953, and the reason I think the original movie has better special effects is because now the reason I I give a point to the original movie is because as much as I like the 2005 one with Tom Cruise, a lot of that was CGI effects, but. I personally prefer when movies use practical effects, and the original War of the Worlds uh, does that. So, for, so I'll give a point to the original movie on that one. Now, as for the cat, now as for the cast, uh, this I really had to think about this one because this one is quite difficult. Uh, because this one was honestly quite difficult to judge because 
both movies have a good cast because, I mean, the 2005 remake, you have Tom Cruise and, and Dakota Fanning, and both of them are good actors slash actresses. They're both good. And you also have other actors in this, like Tim Robbins, and so you got a really good cast in the remake. But there, it, but there is one actor who was miscast in the remake. Even though I really, even though I really like the remake from two thousand five, Robbie, uh, uh, Justin Shatwick was miscast as Ray, now the main character Ray Ferrier, played by Tom Cruise, is really good in the movie, and I thought that his daughter was uh, likable, played by Dakota Fanning, but. However, the actor who played Robbie, Justin Shatwick, I thought that that actor was a little miscast and, like, he came across as a bit unlikable. But when it comes to the original War of the Worlds movie, I did not find any character unlikable. Uh, so, uh, or, or phoned it in with a performance. So, because of that, as tough as this is, I have to give a point to the cast from the original movie. Now, as for the now, as for the pacing, uh, now as for the pacing, I'm uh, now as for the pacing, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the, I am gonna give the points to the 2005 remake with Tom Cruise. And now, when it comes to the original War of the Worlds movie from the 1950s, I really like it. It is a, it is a good movie, but but there are it is a good movie, but there are some parts that I do think are a little slow. I mean, the pacing, for the most part, is good in the original, but a little slow in some scenes. But I didn't really feel any pacing issues with the remake, 2005 remake, so I'll give a point to the remake. Now, as for the, now, as for the story, now, I know some people are going to be like, oh, but the story's the same, it's alien invasion. Well, yeah, but, but the focus of who the characters are are different in the remake, and... As much as I like the story in both movies, I'm gonna have to also give a point to the 2005 remake. Uh, I'm also gonna have to give a point to the 2005 remake uh, for its story. And the reason I give it that point is because, now granted, as much as I like the original War of the Worlds movie from the 1950s, as much as I like that movie, it. As much as I like the original movie, it doesn't necessarily focus on just, like, two characters. Because the original War of the Worlds movie, it focuses on multiple different characters at once. There's not really a main lead you're following. And me, personally, I prefer a movie where you're just following one lead. So, you know, even if the original movie is good, which, when it comes to the original War of the Worlds, uh, I do like the movie. It is good, but... I just think the story is a little better and a little more focused in the uh, remake, so I'll give a point to the remake for the story. In terms of the soundtrack, now this is tough because the original, the original movie, the original War of the Worlds movie has a really good soundtrack, but I can't, I don't know, just I there's something about the soundtrack in the 2005 Tom Cruise remake I like a little more because. Whenever the, whenever there are intent whenever there are intense moments in the remake, the soundtrack is like eerie and like there is really good there is really good tension in this movie. Like uh for example, early on in the movie, Ray Farrier, played by Tom Cruise, they see like uh the giant alien ship uh, tripod coming out the ground and basically it's just blasting people, vaporizing them to pieces and the soundtrack is genuinely haunting right there, so I'll give a point to the soundtrack to the remake. And in terms of the cinematography, I'm going to give the cinematography to the 2005 movie with Tom Cruise, just because I think the cinematography, especially in some certain scenes, is really good. And there is good tension in the movie. Like, uh, for like for example, when uh, Ray Farrier, played by Tom Cruise, uh He's driving the, you know, because he he's basically a father with two kids. You know, there's the intense part of the movie where he's basically driving his uh, truck, and you know his, you know his daughter, you know, has to go use the bathroom, and she basically runs up to a lake. And this is a PG-13 movie, and, and it is a science fiction movie. But the part, you know, the part where the little girl, played by Dakota Fanning, the part where she sees a bunch of dead bodies floating in the river. That is pretty unsettling for a PG-13 movie. So, yeah. 
But at the end of the day, both okay, at the end of the day, these are both really good movies. Granted, you know, they're granted, they're not granted, they are not as good as the book as I much granted, they're not as good as the book as I prefer the book between the two movies, but we're not comparing the book, we're comparing the two movies, the 1953 original movie and the 2005 remake. So overall, which movie uh so overall, which movie is the winner? My choice for the winner is the 2005 remake and the uh and uh so when it comes to the the total score of points, the original movie has 2 points and the remake has 4 points. So the winner is the remake, which I know now I know people watching this I know that is going to be I know that is going to be a very hot Now listen I like both movies they're good movies but I am one of the few people who prefers the remake and I know that opinion I know that opinion is going to get me a lot of crap but honestly I don't care it's my opinion okay deal with it but yeah so yeah, that was another edition of Original versus Remake. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.